hello welcome to the new topic stomata and their types we are going to discuss about what is stomata what are the functions of stomata and what are the different types of stomata found in the leaf so now let let us look at the stomata definition what are stomata see like humans they have skins and they have skin pores likewise also plant also has uh, stomatal openings or the minute openings which are present in the surface of leaf leaf contains two surfaces upper surface and lower surface and the surfaces are also called as epidermal layers so the basically plant leaf has two sides upper and lower and these sides are exposed to the environment and which is known as epidermis thus any leaf of the plant has upper epidermis and lower epidermis and which uh, the pores which are present on this op uh, surfaces or the openings that are known as stomata so stomata are basically minute pores or openings present on both the surfaces of the leaf in the plant now what are the functions why they are present in this leaf or the plant so as human exchanges gases O2 and CO2 with the environment and this is called as the respiration Likewise, plant also exchange gases and it also controls the water loss in the environment. And this collect this process collectively is known as transpiration. And for transpiration purpose, stomata are involved. So the basic function of stomata is transpiration. And it is a thumb rule that the lower epidermis contains more number of stomata as compared to the upper epidermis in the leaf. Now, what is the structure of stomata? what is is composed of so basically each stomata is composed of three units number one is stoma or the opening or the pore the second one is guard cells which are kidney bean or dumbbell shaped two guard cells covering stoma and the subsidiary cells which are the part of epidermal cells which are around the guard cells so now let us look at the structure of stomata so this is the general structure of stomata where the, the white colored center part is known as stoma or the opening and dumbbell shaped two cells covering the stoma these cells are known as guard cells and around guard cells there are n number of say for example two three or four or five number of epidermal cells which are here green in color and these are known as subsidiary cells so basically this stomata is made up of three units stoma guard cells and subsidiary cells now let us look at the types of stomata so how this plants contains different type of stomata so it totally depends on the numbers and arrangement of subsidiary cells around guard cells in stomata so basically depending on this arrangement and numbers there are five types of stomata parasitic diacetic anisocytic anomocytic and actinocytic now let us look at the different types of stomata okay the first one is parasitic stomata which is also known as rubiaceous stomata or parallel celled stomata as the name indicate parallel so now why the name parallel is given so if we look at the axis of guard cells like this is these are the axis of two guard cells and if we draw the axis of subsidiary cells covering guard cells these are the two axis of two ep epidermal cells or we can say subsidiary cells so this axis are parallel to each other axis of guard cells and axis of subsidiary cells so hence this type of stomata is known as parasitic stomata parallel cell stomata so the cells subsidiary cells and guard cells are parallel to each other and senna and casea most of casea species or leguminosity plants they contain parasitic stomata these are the few examples of actual images taken in the microscope of parasitic stomata here you can easily see that guard cells are covered by two subsidiary cells which are parallel to guard cells the next that is diacetic stomata it is also known as karyophyllaceous stomata or cross celled stomata here subsidiary cells are again two in number but they are arranged in such a way that if you draw the axis of guard cells and draw the axis of subsidiary cells 
it will exactly make 90 degree angle between these two axes so we can say this these are cross cell or we can say that guard cells are perpendicular to the subsidiary cells this is actual image of the vasaka or adusi leaf surface preparation where you can easily see that guard cells are perpendicular or at the right angle of the subsidiary cells is anisocytic stomata or we can say cruciferous stomata three celled stomata here guard cells are covered by three subsidiary cells out of which one is smaller than other two in this picture you can easily see that number one cell is relatively smaller than number two and three and there are three subsidiary cells present in the stomata and this type of stomata are generally found in solanaceae family plants like datura bladona hyoscyamus and you can see the actual images or the photograph taken under microscope of the anisocytic stomata here one two three are labeled as the subsidiary cells in which one is smaller as compared to other two the next type is anomocytic stomata or ranunculaceous stomata it is also known as irregular cell stomata because the specific arrangement is not found and there are more than three epidermal cells or subsidiary cells present around guard cells so you can see in this picture there are four epidermal cells and there, there is no specific arrangement around subsidiary cells this type of stomata is found in gymnema or digitalis plant this is the actual photograph of the stomata and you can see that there are four or five subsidiary cells present around stoma stomata that is uh, stoma or uh, guard cells and there is no specific arrangement they are irregularly arranged the next type of type is actinocytic stomata or radiated cell stomata or radial cell stomata here subsidiary cells are arranged around guard cells in such a way that if you look at the stomata in a, as a whole it will give you a flower like structure or they are called as they are arranged in radial pattern so this stomata is found in digitalis some grass and dumbbell dumbbell basically is a plant which is used in asthma in indian in, in traditional medicine and this is the actual image of radiated cell stomata where you can see that in the center part there is a stoma guard cells and around this subsidiary cells are arranged in such a way that they gives flower like appearance so this is all about stomata and types of stomata thank you very much for your kind listening